Kim, you have raised a truly charming young woman who is beautiful inside and out. You have to read Corinthians. I would like to read a passage from First Corinthians. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Faith, hope, and love. Greatest of these. Keith and Julie, as you come this day to affirm your love and commitment, this is my blessing for you. May you always remember to value each other as special and unique individuals. And may you respect each other's thoughts, ideas, and feelings. May you be able to forgive and forget. And from this day forward, may you be each other's home, comfort, and sanctuary. May you be in love forever. And may that love touch all of those around you. City girl meets small town boy. Before Keith and Julie knew each other, they had a mutual friend, Brittany. Knowing their personalities, Brittany thought to herself, these two need me. So when she and Julie randomly met for a happy hour during an I hate boys moment, <laughs> Brittany told Julie about a really fun and cute guy named Keith. Julie was on a hiatus from dating at the time, so she was having none of it. Brittany proceeded to tell Keith about a really fun and pretty girl named Julie. Keith, on the other hand, knowing Keith, decided to go on Facebook and check out what this girl and Julie was doing. He liked what he saw and summoned up all of his courage. Wait a minute. Keith has never had to sum up And he asked Julie on a date, and she accepted Keith was, running, Keith was running way late for his first day due to work. So he washed his hands and face in his sink at work, jumped in his truck, and booked it across town to make it on time. He was still in his dirty metal fabrication, fabrication shop clothes. So with a Coles gift card in his pocket, he stopped in and got a new wardrobe. He in his truck while driving. He even bought some deodorant. <laughs> cover, up that, cover up that greasy smell. Oh. It worked. He just flashed that smile and put on his usual charm. And here we are today. He took a little longer to hop on the Julie train than she thought. She was 100% sure. Um, she was 100% in pretty early on. And was always super honest with him as he was with her. They were walking along, holding hands one day, having the best time, and she looked up at him and said, you know, you're my best friend. His response to her about skipping a beat was, Kitty's my best friend. <laughs> 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 a friend from Wyoming introduces a girl from New York to a boy from Oregon, and they meet and fall in love in Arizona. When you think about the infinite possibility of two perfectly suited people being at the same place at the same time, it's pretty amazing. You might call it blind love or karma, but I prefer to call it divine intervention. It's not what you have in your life, but who you have in your life counts. So when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Marriage is the most important of all human relationships. To make your marriage succeed, it will take love. This is important. Love is what you are here for. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you truly want to be the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open and honest with one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to go forward together.
together without knowing exactly what the future brings. We say commitment to hold true to the promises you share today. A wife and a husband are each other's confidant, lover, teacher, listener, critic, and best friend. Sorry, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> the things and the big things, but it's never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. To have the capacity to forget and forget. It is never taking the other for granted. It is speaking words for appreciative. It is doing things for each other, not because you have to, but because you want to. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue all the years. The two of you are entering a new phase of your lives, not as individuals, but as a couple. That marital bond will withstand all the trials and tribulations that life will throw your way over the years. And it will make your love stronger because you'll be going through it together. <laughs> In marriage, we not only we, we say not only I love you today, but also promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Robert Browning wrote, go old with me, for the best is yet to be. Keep 50 years from now, when you look into Julie's eyes, I know that you will see the girl. <laughs> the ring is a symbol of unbroken the ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love love has no beginning and no end it is symbolic of the endless love the two of you share these rings given in love are the affirmation to all that witness that you are truly joined together as husband and wife may these rings always remind you the value you have taken today. Isla, can you please hand uh, do you have the ring? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Repeat after me. Today I marry my best friend. One who I laugh in private. 